From December the 7th through to the 12th of January, it is Dick Whittington at Wolverhampton's Grand Theatre as the Panto this year. Somebody who is no stranger to the theatre itself is Geoffrey Holland. Hello, sir. Hello, nice to be here again. Well, good to have you along. So, uh, what's been happening since you were last here in Brest off? Well, well, quite a bit, really. I've been uh, all over the world with with my uh, various cruises. You know, I do talks as well as my one man show uh-huh. on the ships, and I've been. We did. I did four cruises last year, which has been great fun. Yeah. Uh, and uh, a visit to Dubai this year with my one man show, mm-hmm. and uh, and then I've been just been up to Scotland with it as well. So we're getting back. To, to London and suddenly I'm, I'm, I'm up in Wolverhampton. Yeah, and it's panto time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we've, we've seen you here with a bat on, we've seen you here in a dress. This time, as Alderman Fitzwarren, yeah. you're going to be a full regalia, you're going to be looking good. Absolutely, and I'm delighted to be playing a man in pantomime, <laughs> Jane, because, you know, it's usually... It, it is often a day. How many, how many times have you uh, not been dame in panto? Because you've done panto for decades yeah, now. This, is, this year is my 45th <laughs> pantomime season, and i played dame for over 26 years. Yeah. Uh, and I haven't played a man in pantomime since 1988. Though I suppose it was about 20 years playing the young comic in the pantomime mm-hmm. when I started out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but this this time it'll be nice to get the uh, to get the trousers on instead of the frocks because uh, you know I don't have to put all that stuff on my face. Yeah, less makeup, but uh, uh, but still still a frock coat. It's, oh, very much so. Yeah, very much so. I had it on this morning. Do the press co- uh, photo of and um, it's really really nice costume. But uh, it's it, it will be nice to be able to get changed and go out between the two shows and go <laughs> go shopping or get something to eat uh, instead of having to be trapped in the theatre like I was normally as, yeah. as the day because you oh. can't take your face off and put it back on again. You can lose the wig and that's about it. Well, there isn't time to do it. (laughs) Mm. But I mean, Panto is a a great season, a great time of year, and you get to be working with one of them, must be your favourite colleagues ever. Absolutely. It's it's pure joy to be working with Sue again, because we haven't worked together since uh, the mid-90s when we did Oh Dr. Beachy together. That was the last sitcom we did together, and uh, we haven't worked together since then. Uh, we've seen each other a lot mm-hmm. because we, we meet at various functions, you know, yeah. charity bashes and things, and we live together near each other in London. So, uh, you know, we, we've, met, we've met a lot, and last year she was up at Edinburgh Fringe, and so was I with, with our various one-woman mm-hmm. show. One, she's got a one-woman show. Uh, she, she's taking out on tour sometime next year. Uh, and, uh, you know, but it's uh, lovely to be working, be on the same stage with her again mm. for the first but time. On opposite sides mm. of the... Opposite of, of, sides. Of, yeah. The good and the bad. The yeah. good and the bad, yeah. She's playing the baddie, mm-hmm. which should be fun. Have you ever played baddie, you know? I only played baddie once, mm-hmm. and that was just before Heidi High became known. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I knew that if I, uh, they wanted me in pantomime in the future, it would be to see the face that they know from the telly, yes. which was then Spike mm-hmm. uh, at that time. So I got the opportunity to play King Rat in Dick Whittington. And I relished it. I really did. I read for it, by the, took it by the throat and made it my own. Does this mean you can give Sue a few tips as well, though? I wouldn't dream of it. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> you no. know, she, uh, through she, pressure, I, she, she doesn't need she's any... She's been um, playing Wiki Queen for a long time. She knows what she's doing. So, yeah, so, does this scare you, though? No, no, she never scares me. <laughs> Have a good laugh. No, it's good fun. No, she's very good at what she does. and mm-hmm. uh, we, it, it, It'll be a good show. Look forward to it. And uh, a few Heidi High memories, hopefully, in the script, I'm trusting. Well, I'm, I don't know. I'm seeing the script yeah, well, yet. We're quite well, a way away I, from I, that. I certainly hope there will be. If not, we'll have to sort of crowbar some in. I somewhere. think that can easily yeah. happen, couldn't it? Yeah, it could do. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, do, do you still bump into others of the Heidi High cast? Obviously, you're still it's a close. But... Yes, uh, as a, one of the girls, uh, 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 Nikki Kelly, who played Sylvia, she mm. lives quite near me actually mm-hmm. in West London so we so basically you've got a bit of London that yeah, is Heidi High forever that's, that's right that's <laughs> right yeah so of course Ruth's on tour with mm-hmm. the girls at the moment which, yeah. which is good fun uh, in fact, we had a picture taken outside the theatre this morning with, uh, her with Ruth in the background. She's in, always in, there with you. In in between us, we're not pointing at her with no, with no clothes on. You know, so that, that was fun. Mm. But I mean, great fun to be had with Panto and uh, the, the the rest of the cast. I, I know you won't have met up with all of them as yet, but uh, some, no. some great names in there. And yeah, well, it, of course, I know. I know Ian. Yeah, I mean, the, the dame, was mm-hmm. Sarah. Uh, I know him, uh, but the, the others, um, I don't know the other boys at all. Uh, they're, they're strangers to me. So but this will, you, they will be your family over Christmas. Absolutely, though. and I'm sure we, you know, we'll get on like a house on fire. We all will. 
Mm-hmm. But I say this uh, is this is all part of the, you know, the the joy of doing a panto because with so many people for so long, even the rehearsal period for this is longer than most things you get to do, well, isn't it? Funny it is, if it's quite the opposite. Is it is this? Time you on? only ever get ten days to put a panto, uh-huh. on. and uh, so you sort of come prepared, knowing that you you know it's all. It doesn't really need that much because it's it's choreography that takes up most of the time in <laughs> rehearsal. Do you do, do you do choreography? Is that your thing? Or I don't not? do much anymore. <laughs> I don't do much now. Well, it's the old legs, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, it's uh, it's the choreography that takes the time in rehearsals. We can do the, the, the acting scenes, the comedy patter dialogue. That, that'll take no time at all. Mm-hmm. So we, we've got we've plenty of time. Ten days is usually enough. And you'll be happy with that? Yeah. And it will be an amazing show. It is Dick Whittington. It's Wolverhampton's Grand Theatre. Grandtheatre.co.uk to get your ticket or 01902 429212. The box office number. The 7th of December through to the 12th of January. An entire season of absolute fun with this man and the rest of the amazing cast there. Geoffrey Holland, thank you. And um, pandemonium. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you.